On April 2nd, the Cumberland County Department of Public Health and 30 other community agencies will come together to host the Real Talk event designed to promote teen wellness. The health departments Dolly Huffman Clayton and Sakina Raglan of Fayetteville Technical Community College invite teens and their parents to the event at Pine Forest High School starting at 7 p.m. There is an event coming up on April the 2nd and it's called Real Talk. It will take place at Pine Forest High School at 7 p.m. I can personally share my experience. I started off as a vendor there last year and I was so intrigued with how the county began to reach out to the youth in prevention of pregnancies. It intrigued me and I wanted to be a part of this committee. Now that I'm on this committee, I see the work that's being put into it and how much the county cares about reducing these pregnancy rates. The Real Talk event will cover an amount of information for the students to learn about prevention, to learn about wellness. There will be academic resources there for the parents as well as for the students. They will also receive refreshments. There will be prizes and giveaways, and they will never forget this night. It's a really good night to remember for them. Last year's event was a really big turnout. Although I started off as a vendor, the committee did make it known that they only expected about 100 participants. It was 400 plus individuals there at Douglasburg High School last year, April 24th. This year, we are expecting more than what we had last year and we're looking forward to serving the community. The good thing about the Real Talk event, this is a free event to the community of Cumberland County. Anyone can come out there. It starts at seven, so we want you to show up on time so you can receive everything that is offered to you. Once you come out there, you will see an array of vendors lined up with information. You will hear speakers of Cumberland County School Board. There will be so many people here of the county committees that will be able to extend information to the youth here. Well, to tell you about the Teen Wellness Task Force, the Teen Wellness Task Force was actually developed in May of 2012 um, and it was initially called the Teen Pregnancy Prevention Task Force because the initial um, goal of the program was to reduce unintended pregnancies among teenagers in Cumberland County. Now, um, in 2013, we decided to change the name to the Teen Wellness Task Force to make it more encompassing of the wholeness of the teen health and wellness. To tell you a little bit about who the partners are um, as part of the task force, um, the partners include many organizations. Um, we certainly couldn't do it without the Cumberland County School System as a key partner in our efforts. Um, we also have Cumberland County Department of Social Services and of course uh, Cumberland County Department of Public Health, um, our key partners in the uh, task force. Uh, we have an, a variety of organizations and agencies including um, many um, community-based organizations um, that are key partners in our efforts. The Real Talk event that we're going to have on April the 2nd is really important and it's really important that we get teens and their parents there. Teen pregnancy prevention does not only affect the teens who are having the babies, but it also affects the families um, that have the babies and um, their communities. Um, we want to make sure that we get the word out about the importance of individuals coming to this event and learning about it. Um, research has shown that when parents talk to their kids about um, contraceptive issues, um, then they're likely to have fewer incidents of unintended pregnancies, and that's really important. And so the Real Talk event is really about um, empowering parents to talk to their children about contraception and about being aware and using safe sex practices if they're going to engage in sexual activity. The reason teen pregnancy prevention is important is because it's part of our community health assessment. Every three to four years, the Cumberland County Department of Public Health um, engages in an assessment of the community's health and the health indicators. Um, in 2010, it was identified that teen pregnancy prevention was a key indicator that we wanted to address and work on. Um, and then again here in 2013, we reinitiated uh, the assessment again, and again the teen pregnancy prevention is an important initiative. Here in Cumberland County, the rates are that 56 girls out of 1,000 got pregnant in 2012. Now in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't necessarily sound like a lot of girls, but when you look in comparison to the North Carolina rates, which were 39 girls out of 1,000 who got pregnant, 
our rates are significantly higher. When you look at our progress over time, the numbers do show improvement. In 2010, we had 750 girls who got pregnant. In 2011, we had 650 girls who got pregnant. And in 2012, we had 550 girls who got pregnant. So numbers-wise, we are improving. However, when you look at our ranking in comparison to other counties in the state, in 2010, we were ranked 17th highest, um, which is not good. But in 2012, even though our numbers had improved, we were ranked 13th highest in the state for our teen pregnancy rate for girls 15 to 19 years of age. We really want uh, teens to bring their parents to the event and we want parents to bring their teens to the event um, because we have a lot of uh, activities planned for the night of the event. Um, we intend to have some information about some teen health statistics um, and provide some testimonials from actual teens who are parents and who are challenged by um, the many activities related to being a teen parent and staying in school. And we want to um, give people information about how they can access resources in their community. Um, so we'll have vendors at the event. And then we'll also um, hopefully um, have some really nice um, door prizes and giveaways um, to, um, to have for the individuals who attend the event.